the next phase of what's coming. Do you notice that the so-called ending of the pandemic was sort of interrupted a few days ago by the new normal, which is technically called by some of the Canadian climate scientists as this is the new reality. If you've uh, listened to the news and watched what happened in Lytton two weeks prior to the heat wave that we suffered, I was told that there's going to be a heat dome coming up into your area. Well, almost like clockwork, a blip on windy.com, I don't know if you follow weather patterns, but there was a heat dome over Oregon, Washington, British Columbia that appeared very early in the morning and in the evening absolutely disappeared and everything went back to normal like almost instantly. It happened for about two or three days and then all of a sudden it, uh, it stayed. And that's what you experienced in the last week. Trust me, if I say this, everything that's happening with the weather is not real. The new reality is climate change. If you've listened to Les Schwab, if you've listened to the global elite, and now your politicians, what they're going to do is they're going to replace the entire um, pandemic force with a climate change force. They're, instead of having Bonnie Henry, the health advisor to the public, they're going to have a clim climate change scientist. And if you've listened to the news at all, you're seeing the same format starting to continue into another phase, which is climate change. Now, Lytton, for three days, had the highest temperatures in Canada. And what happened? It burned down. If you go through some of the um, information that was going on, the exact same thing happened in Australia, in Canberra. In Canberra, I forgot the name of it. The exact same thing happened in um, California. When they have the opportunity to take people from their land and take people from ever having the possibility of paying mortgages or living, what happens? The land can be bought up for a very, very cheap price. You will have nothing and be happy. They want to make sure that under their circumstances, you're pushed out of rural areas and brought into city squares. Why do you think that Banksters like Citadel, Goldman Sachs, who are, who are using your pension funds, using your RRSPs and what money you may have in the bank to buy properties in city centers to turn into rental properties to push you out of rural areas. And now this exact same thing right now is happening and it's only starting so you have to be cognizant of what's actually going on this is the new phase this is what's going to happen and I do have some challenges for you to think about uh, moving ahead first of all when it came to the pandemic the the globalists need your permission which means that if they can convince you through the media to wear a mask to get a vaccine and most of society is compliant they will then institute their authority but they need your permission here's my challenge to everybody out there including out in YouTube land we need to push back and we need to push back now. We need to start to realize the methodology of warfare that they are using. With the, plan, with the pandemic, we, we started to learn very quickly and we're able to push back. We need to do this even more quickly. We need people who are deep divers, who are white hats, who are organized, who understand how things like um, 
the weather modification um, works, how the, the laser technology works, because what they do is they have high elevation planes that were lasering um, areas in California. If you ever follow any of that information, you'll, you'll notice houses, and the same thing happened up in, in Wainwright, where houses were absolutely destroyed, but the trees were left alone. You know, Fort Mac, thank you. So, be aware. Start the study now so that you can fight this new fight. Things aren't going to stop with the, the pandemic, but you need to become warriors concerning your knowledge cons uh, with weather modification. And you need to fight back because this is going to be our next level. And that's why, you know, I'm asking that you be the warriors that you are. Hi. This is uh, JD with Indigenous POV. Um, we're here about a few kilometers before Lytton. We were coming with a uh, drone and cameras and stuff to try to get some kind of footage. They won't let us pass because they say there's still things on fire. There are helicopters in the area dropping water uh, on the area. We've got a lot of questions. There was a train that was verified to us that uh, was on fire with logs that went from all the way from Lytton uh, and was actually stopped by the uh, fire department in Boston Bar and that train uh, the fire on the train was put out it wasn't sparks from the wheels or anything it was actually on fire interesting to note that you know when something like that's on fire it's a basically a miracle that nothing else caught on the way uh, we're asking a lot of questions and we are trying to come up with some answers of what is actually going on so when we find out more information we will pass it on to you